So the Oscars are coming up, and we have our favorites. We know many yes. of you have yours. For La La Land is life. It, it's amazing. For me. Like, yeah. if I could go live in the world of La La Land. I think a lot of us would like right to do that now. right now. I think that's why dun, it's dun, become dun, so dun, beloved. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I feel I like we should start dancing that on day. It's a Greyhound station west of Santa Fe. Have you downloaded the soundtrack? Uh, I have, and I've been listening to it like every single day. Yeah. So I love it okay. so much. I love the movie. I love how I've always been a musical fan. Mm -hmm. So seeing a we bond modern, on that. I know, I'm a musical fan seeing too. a modern musical make a resurgence is really cool. And now, 14 Oscar nominations. That's, I was surprised. I, I think it's wonderful. I, I didn't know if everyone would love it as much. I do have friends that are not musical okay. buffs, and so it's not calling to them. Calling. But I keep telling them, you know, it's a wonderful break. It it's is. A, it's a beautiful break. You know, actually, we saw it the night of the Women's March. So we had oh, awesome. marched by day, and we went yeah. to La La Land by night. And it was perfect, because it was just part of what we love about the yes. movies. You could escape, you could just let yes. go. And um, plus Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone. Amazing. Wonderful chemistry. I think they should yes. only do movies together forever. I know. This is what, their third or fifth movie together, something like that. Somewhere between there. Um, and they're always so great together. And 14 Oscar noms ties the record, which I don't With think. With what? Uh, Titanic. Titanic. Um, and oh, La La Land's way better than Titanic. I, I would agree. <laughs> yeah, so it's now tied for the most Oscar nominations. I think it's going to turn out pretty big. Yeah. In, I also happen to be one of those people that love jazz, so I love that, also, yes. that other little theme in the music. Yeah. And so. I liked how, you know, when you think of Hollywood musicals, you think of some of those big numbers and your Broadway divas coming, yeah. and that's not what this was, which I really no, liked. It was no. you know, very calm and mellow and just a fun... Like you said, break from our mm -hmm. world, kind of. And the staging and the sets and everything—it was, it was the shot, that opening shot where it's like you know the first six minutes are just like one continuous camera moment. Yeah. It's like, oh, Do you ever wish life. for that on your commute that all of a sudden everyone uh, just like starts dancing 70, on the top yeah, of the car? It would just I would into love that. that. I probably, I well, I've done that before, and then you know, but that doesn't end well. Not well. So just start dancing on top of your car. So aside from La La Land. I've seen some movies that you haven't, and vice versa. Yes. So my other favorite, Lion, is wonderful. I have not seen Lion. Um, Beautiful story. Okay. I mean, I, I did cry in Lion, but in a good way because it good. does come full circle. So I highly recommend that. Um, um, Arrival. Fences. Oh, okay. Do Arrival first. Well, Arrival was surprising. I went thinking it was just going to be one of these, you know, out of this world space movies. Yeah. But didn't expect the whole story yeah. that came with it. And, and Amy Adams. I love Amy Adams. In that a little yeah. different role for her than normal, I yeah. feel like. And then Fences. I loved Fences. Fences is on my list. I love Viola Davis. So. I love, well, you know, classic play. Mm -hmm. American play now brought Denzel Washington is supposed to be doing the August Wilson 10 cycle. Oh, okay. Which is, you know, August Wilson wrote a different African American play for each decade in oh, the 20th wow. century. And Fences was the first one that Denzel did, and he's supposed to do all 10 of them. Is he really? Yes. Oh, wow. And both him and Viola Davis did on Broadway, mm -hmm. won Tony's for it. Did no. you ever see the play version of Fences? I've never I know you seen, see a lot of plays. I've never got to see the play version of it. I bet it'll come to Denver. We usually get a lot of good stuff. Yeah, maybe. it's been in Denver before. Okay. Uh, it'll be back, I'm sure. But that'd be really cool if they both won Tonys for it to that then both be. go win an Oscar oh, for it. Oh, I would it. love that. Yeah. I think that'd be cool. And this is Viola Davis's third nomination. Yes. Which, I don't know if you knew, that's the highest number an African-American woman has ever been nominated for, for the Oscars. There's only three. Yeah. which I think is kind of sad. It is, yeah. The, you hear those, those stats, and I know that um, this year, you know, last year was Oscars So White. This year um, we saw less of that, but still yeah. a long way to go with sure. bringing uh, true diversity and equality. Yeah. Um, so not, as, not enough representation of Latinos, yep. not enough representation of Asian Americans as well.